Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel. If this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you won't miss out on any of my other videos. For today's video, um, I think it's something that's one very important to say and secondly it is something everyone deals with because most of us are human if you're watching this and that is being unmotivated and having burnout and for me today was one of those days I woke up and I was in a complete funk I did not feel like getting out of bed I was not even tired I was like awake but I just felt like I wanted to stay in bed I felt I didn't want to do anything I just felt like I wanted to lay in my bed the entire day and not that I didn't want to speak to anyone, but more I just didn't want to be disturbed. I just wanted to be alone. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to see anything. I didn't want to hear anything. I just wanted to, if you can say, wallow in my sorrow. Um, not that I have sorrow right now. But a lot of it for me stems from one being in quarantine. I've been inside my house um, under quarantine. And lockdown although our national lockdown has finished now in South Africa but we are still under very strict um, regulations and I have been at home now since the 15th of March that makes it exactly two months yesterday yesterday was Friday the 15th and I don't know why it took me so long to think to make this video but I think I had to have it hit me first before I could talk to you and I don't think mo uh, being unmotivated or having a burnout stems from being in quarantine I think it can happen at any time but for me personally I think it's it's because of quarantine I have dealt with this before but for some reason today it just hit me all at once and so um halfway through uh, my morning when I was like no nah, I'm not gonna do anything I'm just gonna sit around I was like no this is enough I can't do that I have um, so many things to look forward to whether it's today or tomorrow and I just felt I need to actually make a video about it say how I got myself I'm not completely out of it yet and that's why I'm filming this video because it's easy to watch someone who gives you all these tips about being motivated and avoiding burnout when they themselves look completely put together in their video or are completely together in real life and um, so yes that is what today's video is going to be quite a long introduction but I felt I should give some um, background for me, I've realized that whenever I tend to get um, demotivated or have burnout is when I am extremely stressed. I'm sure a lot of people now who are at home, um, for me, it's my university friends who have been hearing it from, we are all extremely stressed. We have a lot of things up in the air. We have tons of assignments due. Some classes have their exams cancelled and so they've piled on extra assignments, extra um, tests, extra quizzes to make up for not having an exam period. While other classes are um, giving very little information and that actually adds on to the stress. And I think that is what has led me to this burnout. And so... What I did this morning when I started feeling like that, after feeling like that for about two hours, the first thing I did was I got out of bed. Getting out of bed and realizing that, you know what, you actually need to not get a move on and forget about being unmotivated because you're human. You're allowed to feel that emotion and you're allowed to feel down it's a normal human thing whether you're a celebrity or whether you're a normal person everyone feels it and i think realizing that is the first step and getting out of bed is the second one the third thing i did is i went to shower i went to shower i had a nice hot um shower said shower three times but let's move along 
Um, I had a shower both times. I stayed in there not for like 50 years, but I just let my mind kind of calm down. It made me feel fresh. It made me have a bit of a, um, not fresh feeling. Like, you know, you splash water in your face. That's what I did in the shower. And it just helps to wake you up and kind of center you. The fourth thing is to get dressed. Now, I'm very guilty of this, except when I'm filming my videos, Almost every single day I've been in sweatpants or um, gypsy pants and a really comfortable t-shirt or um, a um, what do you call this a jersey but I said I think the reason I'm feeling burnt out is and motivated is because I don't feel physically motivated not mentally you've got to look the part sometimes and not getting I'm not saying get ready for someone else just for you for you to feel like that so I'll show you today I put on for the first time in quarantine I put on jeans it's quite an achievement and it instantly made me feel better it made me feel a bit more put together a bit more like I have some control I even put on a bit of jewelry because I really love earrings if you know me like earrings are probably my favorite um, accessory I feel like you can do a lot um, I didn't even put on makeup because that's not who I am I did put on some eyeliner I did my hair a bit kind of I just like twirled and put it into a pony so yeah just getting a bit ready um, just helps you to feel a bit more motivated makes you feel like a normal day because as I said before my um, burnout and um, low motivation is coming from quarantine and being stuck at home and not going out for two months but I feel like in most cases even if it isn't quarantine just getting ready makes you feel um, a bit more put together more ready for the day more confident it does it makes you feel confident makes you feel like you can do anything even if that increases your motivation by like 0.1 percent that's still something the second thing is not the second thing the second sub point is to take the day off now for me i said previously my own motivation stems from being stressed and feeling like i just have so much to do that i don't feel like doing any of it at all and so i've decided today was going to be the day that i take a day off now obviously if i feel different later and i feel motivated and i want to do work i can do that but just giving yourself the opportunity to feel like you are free you don't have anything to do um, and feeling like you have whatever time it is to do what you want and that leads on to my next point which is you need to do when you take this time off sorry do something that makes you extremely happy for me that may be practicing Bharatanatyam or it might be drawing or it might be singing but for me music and dance tend to be two of the biggest things in my life that tend to help me recenter and just feel better about myself more motivated more excited about th things and it can stem from me practicing uh, um, a Bharatanatyam dance that I've learned in class or reenacting the Christina and Meredith kind of thing that they do in Grey's Anatomy where they used to play music and they just jump up and down it just helps your adrenaline get moving and it does make you feel motivated and so that's also what I did before filming the video um, the other thing is to surround yourself with people that you love and that are positive and that motivate you for me those are um, those people are my parents and my sister and my dog who's sitting right here but um, they tend to just make me feel better make me feel like you know what I am human like how I'm doing for you now and I'm trying to motivate you and make you realize that um, you don't need to do everything all the time sometimes it's easier for me to say than for me to take that in myself and so just having my parents and my sister tell me that you know what it's okay take a break or they tell me a funny story or they tell me something motivating or sometimes it might even be me chatting to my friends it's just something to make me feel a lot more better um 
just having my inner circle be positive and motivating makes me positive and motivating motivated seeing them positive and motivated it's kind of a cycle and so surrounding yourself with the best people during this burnout or unmotivated phase um, just really does help the other thing is to watch motivating videos or podcasts and um, I'm a very visual person so I don't tend to listen to actual podcasts I like listening to filmed podcasts so I don't know if you guys know Ashley Graham she has some really really good ones um, she just did one with Demi Lovato I think about two or three weeks ago and I watched that and that was just amazing and inspiring or even just watching other people that kind of are going through the same thing or have tips to help you kind of like what I'm making now another reason why I chose to make it now um so yes watching motivating videos and podcasts I think can help you a lot but don't get me mistaken don't mistake me don't get me mistaken. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Get that mistake. Don't get mistakes. Don't get don't get me wrong. I'm not saying go and compare yourselves to them. I think that's where a lot of um, things to do with the lack of confidence comes from. Is looking at people on Instagram or YouTube or podcasts and thinking, wow, they're giving all these tips. It must work, and you know what? They have the perfect life, and maybe it's easier said for them than done. But it, everyone is going to react differently to how they use the tips. Some tips might work for someone. Some tips might not work for someone. But don't get into the habit of comparing yourself with someone that's giving you the motivational um, tips or how to deal with burnout. Just take it as a guideline and kind of morph it into your own thing. Um, but yes, that is the other tip. The other thing is to write things down. I think, yes, this is the third time I'm referencing that my burnout and unmotiv unmotivatedness lack of motivation stems from stress and two of the things that really help me is to write things down whether that be by a journal or that be by a list now i spoke about it in my online motivation for school is to keep a list um, of what you need to do every week that just helps you to kind of brain dump everything that's kind of stressing you out into one place. And when you take it off, it does feel uplifting when you do that. And that's what I've done this whole week. But obviously today is different. Um, I guess it didn't uh, work as well as I hoped it would. It helped during the week when I was feeling super unmotivated. But today, I don't know, I think it may have just caught up to me. But usually writing things down whether that be in a list if it's something that's stressing you out or journaling it doesn't have to be a fancy journal sometimes i just take out a piece of paper a blank piece of paper and i write on it and then like two weeks later i'll throw it away but just having somewhere that you can just literally mind dump everything that is going on in your mind because you're probably having a lot of burnout because you're thinking i need this i need to do this i'm feeling this but i don't want to do this or i have to do this but i don't have the time to do that and so just having it in one place makes you feel like you've gotten it out, you've pushed it out, makes you again feel uplifted. The other thing is to go outside. Now, I cannot go outside, but I have a beautiful garden in my house. And so almost every day I try to go outside. I have a camp chair, which I just sit on and in the garden, or I'll go and play with my dog, or I'll practice dancing outside. Or um, if you've seen my latest Instagram post, I did my um, ecology test and my paleontology project pictures, not the whole project, the pictures that I had to take for it outside. Just doing something outside and for me, I'm very close with nature. I have mentioned that before. Um, keeps yourself very grounded. It makes you feel very peaceful. It's kind of like meditating but with your eyes opened and so yes going outside I mean if you can take a walk I wouldn't recommend it because um, it's not the healthiest way or the safest way to be doing things with what's currently going on but if you're watching this and you're not in quarantine going outside and having a walk uh, whether that's in a park or if you live near a beach um, that can help with it as well 
And the last thing is to take things slow and realize that you're human. Now, it's so common for us to always think, oh, I need to get this done and I need to do it by now. I need to do it all together because I have to just do everything. Want to be super uh, human, superwoman, superman, so superhuman. But we have to realize that we are just human. Yes, we can be super uh, humans in some senses, but sometimes it doesn't always work that way. And you need to be okay with that happening because there's only so much that you can take. There is only 24 hours in a day and you have to make time for what you want to do. But taking a day where you take things slow or as I've said before, take things, uh, take a day off to do whatever you want can really do wonders instead of just continuously working uh, even through low motivation because at the end of the day if it's for schoolwork you're not gonna you're gonna not um, learn anything if it's something that you enjoy but you're just doing it for the sake of it you're not gonna enjoy what you're doing and I think that's um, where a lot of the misconceptions about being someone that is very hard working comes from I'm pretty sure that the most hard workers out there are people that know their limits try to exceed them sometimes but if they don't don't over push yourself because that's just going to lead to more low motivation and more um, harder feelings of burnout. Um, so yes, those are my tips. I really hope that they actually help someone. I know today's video was not as bubbly or wasn't as, um, I don't know, put together. I know that it was not a very well put together video, but at the end of the day, as I've said, I'm human. Today I didn't even feel like filming, but I felt like it's something that was important to say because I am going through it and I feel there are probably a lot of people that are going through this right now or in the future if you're watching my video in the future. And so, um, yes, I'm sorry if this was not what you were hoping for, um, but I hope that this really does help you whether you're a university student in school or you're... Um, a work woman a work person or um just if you're someone that's at home right now and yes you've got your life together but you just have this really crappy feeling inside which tends to get the better of us sometimes i hope that this really does help even if it's just one tip that helps you and um so yes thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you know of anyone kind of going through the same thing I am maybe it'll help them um, and I will really appreciate your support um, please follow me on Instagram and have a fantastic week ahead love you guys a lot bye